Hello and welcome to Travel's Diary. My name is Asis and in today's video we'll be learning about what things need to be considered while applying for a US visa interview application for parents. If uh, you are currently in US uh, in either F1 or in uh, H1B and you want to call your parents for the uh, convocations or you just want them to be here to meet uh, and, and just and maybe for a you know tourism purpose so yeah i'll walk you guys through what are the steps that i took for myself and my uh you know context of this video will be more relevant to people from south asian communities because i've had a visa interview experience from nepal and india so i'm going to share uh some of the you know procedure how we can do that and some of the suggestions while filling out the form sorry about that and uh, so what you need to do how to start is the first thing is you need to have a valid passport for both of your parents if both of the parents will be traveling or uh, even and your siblings are will be also traveling and you need to have a valid passport and the second thing is you're going to need to fill the ds-160 form uh, which i'm going to tell how to start in a few minutes and the third is we're gonna need to create a CGI account and fourth is we book the interview date so let's begin guys so first is DS160 so for DS160 you just type in here DS160 and uh, you once you do that you will land, land up in this space so you know here you just select the location so I'm selecting the locations here Nepal for example and if I put the code here and start the applications okay let me just put here let's see okay so let's put the locations let's let's put the code here then when i start the applications oops yeah it takes some time guys just to patience with me so okay so let's see yep so we are through and once you hit the agree button and you there is one security questions you just put uh, whatever you like so okay and yeah so you gotta need to fill the personal information and let me remind you guys you gotta need to fill ds160 for each of the applicants so if your both of your parents are traveling then you're gonna need to fill the ds164 each of uh, the uh, parents or the siblings and here you're gonna need to mention the visa type as b2 if you are traveling if your parents are traveling for your convocation or for you know for tourism purpose and here uh, you also need to mention what are uh, the parents work education or training they have obtained you also need to mention you the uh, you know your address in us uh, so that you know the visa counselor know where the parents will be uh, potentially traveling so yeah these all information need to be filled and like i said you need to fill individually for both of uh, or all of the applicants and this number is very important you need to have this number ready uh, for both of the parents and once you do, do that you then start with the another process where you create the CGI account and uh, account. Uh, so you're gonna need to type the what country is in. So let's go in here and let's log in. So yeah, this is there already. So let me log in here. So yeah. Now let me, you know, uh, reiterate. So you're going to need a valid passport. Then you're going to need to fill a DS-160 for each of the parents or siblings that may be traveling to US. Then once you have that, once you do that, you will have a unique number for each DS-160 that starts with A00 for most of the uh, case, as far as I remember. So, yeah. So once you have uh, the, uh, you know, DS-160 number for both, uh, then you need to create an CGI account. So if you are 
giving an interview, you just need to create, uh, like together, then you guys need to create a CZ account for one person. That is enough, and you can add later. So, for example, so this is, uh, let's see, so you're going to need to select a regular here. Uh, then, then yeah, so these are the, some of the date that are available. So, let me go back. Let me go back and tell you how what to start. So in CZIPs, so this is the first page that will offer uh, that will that you will see, and you need to. Uh, so if if you are in F1 status and it's a non-immigrant visa, obviously for for B2, then you're gonna continue it. Um, then it's for business, tourism, and all others. Like if you are inviting your parents for your know, convocation or just for visiting, you're gonna select this option. And uh, this is B2, visitor for pleasure. And you also need to continue again. Then I have already filled this. Uh, so let me move to next page. Uh, okay. So already filled. And here you can add your, like, uh, if you are just creating your CZ account for your. Or your father then you can add the details of your mother's add by name so you can add here like, if you have more than uh, one uh, you know, if you also have a siblings um, then you gotta continue it uh, make sure that you put everything correct and just uh, fill out some information if anyone uh, is less than 14 no well, no then uh, confirm that you have photos so once you have it you choose the location where you want to uh, where you want to get your passport uh, if you get the visa right so you're going to need to confirm and here in this space you need to provide the uh, receipt that uh, receipt of payment of CZI fee so which is like $185 per applicant so if your father or mother both are applying then yeah it comes around so this is for nepal so it's around something around fifty thousand uh, nepali rupees so both the receipt number you can see here um, um and yeah i'm obviously blurring it uh, for safety measures uh so yeah continuing to next phase here you select the type of uh, visa interview which is regular and uh, yeah so this is the date so currently is July 2025, the date available at that time. So I'm going to schedule my appointment uh, at that time. So let me schedule my appointment. Yes, so appointment. So guys, we learned about how to fill a visa application uh, for a parents. Uh, if you are inviting your parents for a convocation or just for a tourism purpose, um, and yeah, this is relevant to all the country, but uh, more specifically, it's uh, relevant to South Asian countries. So yeah, if you have any question, feel free to comment down and uh, I'll try to answer as much as I can. Thank you so much.